everybody. Welcome to uh, Surface Area Part 2. Alright, so in this problem here, uh, we have a triangular prism that has a uh, rectangular prism taken out of it. Okay, so the problem, uh, I haven't written it here, but the problem is, or what we're asked, is to solve the total surface area, including the area on the insides of these walls. So meaning, the when you go inside, if you were to go inside this rectangular prism, this including the surface areas of the walls, floor, and ceiling that you would see. To do this sounds very hard, but it's actually not that difficult. Okay, so I've color coded it here. If you can see blue, red, black, and blue and black together. Uh, sorry, black and red together. Uh, I hope that will kind of make it a little more easier. So, uh, a little more easier. Sorry, a little easier. So, to start off, we're going to start with the blue. So, 10 centimeters and 10 centimeters. So area equals base times height divided by 2, because that's for this triangle. So area equals base 10 times height 10 divided by 2. Area equals 100 divided by 2. Area equals 50 centimeters squared. Now, there's this triangle here on this side, but on the back side there's another triangle. So we're going to multiply by 2. Area equals 1. 100 centimeters squared. If you're wondering why I didn't just do that uh, without dividing by 2, that's just so that you don't get confused uh, with the formulas. So that is the long way, but if you know what you're doing, you don't necessarily have to do that. Anyway, so now going to the black side here. So base times height, right? It's a rectangle. So area equals base 20 times height times 10. Area equals 200 centimeters squared. But there's three. You'll see why. There's one here. The second one is on this side here. But there's one on the bottom. You can tell that it's the same uh, dimensions as this because, first of all, they share the same base. And they also have the same height value. 10 centimeters here, 10 centimeters there. So we're going to multiply by 3. Area equals 600 centimeters squared. Okay? Seems simple enough. Now we're going to leave all of this um, aside for now. We're going to forget about all that for now. And we're going to start working on the red. So that's these little squares here. So area equals base times height, right? It's a square. So area equals 5 times 5. Area equals 25 centimeters squared. But there's two. There's this one here, and there's this really poorly drawn uh, square here. So we're going to multiply by 2. Area equals 50 centimeters squared. So we keep that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the blue and black, uh, sorry, the black and red. Uh, I'm going to write this in red only because, as you can see from over here, my black is starting to die. All right, so area equals base times height. So area equals, tw uh, sorry, base is 20 because it runs the length of the entire prism, or period, yes, prism, sorry. All right. So, because it runs the length, we know that it's the same length as the outside. And the height is 5 because of the height of the base here. So the height is 5. So area equals 100 centimeters squared. That's only for one wall. There are 4. So we're going to multiply by 4. Area equals 400 centimeters squared. Now, we have to put all this together. So, how do we do that? Well, first, let's take all this side. 600 centimeters squared 
plus 100 centimeters squared gives us 700 centimeters squared. But now we have to take away the two, uh, the two squares on either end. So minus 50 gives us 650 centimeters squared. And now we have to add in our 400. So we end up with, sorry, <laughs> Uh, we end up with 1,500 centimeters squared for the surface area, or the total area of this entire prism, triangular prism. All right. Hope that wasn't too complicated. Um, you can also do ones that are a little hard, uh, a little easier. Sorry, by uh, if the question asks. Uh, only for the outside. You don't have to do the inside walls, obviously. There are some questions that don't ask for the include that don't want you to include the area of the base. But for this one, we gave I gave you the hardest uh, case scenario. The only way that this could be harder is if it was a little triangle running through the inside and another triangular prism cut out. Okay, so we will come back to this.